Well, good morning, and welcome to another video. We've had a lot of rain over the last two days, so it's kind of interesting to see how we go getting into this uh, campsite. I'm heading up to Welborough, which is on the road to Derby. So I've got a couple of campsites picked out up that way, but um, if they don't work out, I can always go to the pub and camp at the pub. So. But at the moment I'm walking on the St Helens walkway in St Helens, giving my dog a bit of exercise because I've got the pooch with. But anyway, we'll get up there and uh, I've got to do a bit of shopping in St Helens before I get there, but uh, we'll get up there and have a look and see what we can find. So I've arrived at uh, Emu Flat Road campsite. That's my dog running over there. So this is the entrance. It's firm underground. But, um, yeah, and down here is the campsite, so we'll head down there and we'll have a look. Well, I've come in probably a couple hundred metres, and there's someone camped over in there. Yeah, they got a four-wheel drive. I certainly wouldn't take my caravan any further than this, this track. It's got a couple of good spots in here, but I'm actually going to go to another spot, Pioneer Lake, and check it out first. And then I may come back to this one. So this is the second campsite that I've come to called Pioneer Lake. So it's a little bit rougher getting in, but it's really hard packed gravel, sandy soil. So even in wet, I don't think it's going to get sloppy boggy. So I'm in here. I think I'll back my caravan in here. Remove that firewood over there. Yeah, well, camp is all set up now, and I had a little bit of rain before, but uh, I've got more coming in the next couple of days, but I think I should be fine, so I've also got myself some firewood, which is harder to collect here in Tasmania than it is in uh, Victoria, but uh, I managed to get some. So this here, this lake, and I thought it was man-made, just didn't look natural. So this is the site of a tin mine that operated from 1900 to 1980. And um, now what they've done is they've filled it with water and they stock it with rainbow trout, um, I think biannually. So it's a popular spot for fishing and I think water sports. There's my dog. He's been on guard duty the whole time I've been here. He just keeps sniffing around, making sure no animals are coming within the uh, cooey of the place.
Yeah, so that's it for tonight. It's only early, it's 29, but uh, I've had enough. Fire's nearly out. So, it's not cold. Uh, not cold, but um, I'm just tired. So anyway, we'll go to bed and uh, hopefully get up early in the morning and we'll get across to this, uh, I think it's called Black Duck Lagoon, and see if we can find this Dorset Dredge and uh, have a look at that. So I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's about 10 to 8 now. So, woke up about 7 o'clock. It's cool, but um, I've got my gas heater going, but um, it's not cold. It's actually quite pleasant, so maybe the cloud might burn off a bit later on. Anyway, we'll see. So, as I said last night, today I'm off to, I think it's called Black Duck Lagoon and uh, I'm going to see if I can find the uh, Dorset Dredge. So we'll have a bit of breakfast, a bit of a relax, and we'll get into it. So I've decided to come up to Blue Duck Lagoon. And this is not Blue Duck Lagoon. I've still got about 5Ks to go. And I've come across that causeway there, which wasn't too bad. But then I got to this one here. And uh, I'm thinking that's that's quite deep. So I'll chuck a rock out there. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to risk taking my um, car through that. End up bogged or stuck. Because I can't see the bottom. So yes, I'll have to leave the Dorset Dredge to another time. Okay, well, I um, couldn't get into the Dorset Dredge, so I came back to Pioneer, and um, I've had a bit of a look around for something else to do, and um, just up the road, another 10 k's was um, this old power station that was used for the mine, um, and it's right next to the road, so um, not far up the road, I'm going to go and have a look at it, uh, just for something to do today, because I think tomorrow's going to be a... Uh, camp at uh, camp day because bad weather coming in so we we'll might as well make the most of today yes well it's a bit puzzling this Marinia power station because it says it's down in the middle of that golf course but uh, I can't see any building down there I'm not walking across some golf course when there's golf was playing on here so I've come in that road there and the GPS took me to the spot just in front of me the on the road and said you have arrived but I cannot see any buildings on this that looks like the ones I see on um, the internet so might be a lost cause I'll go and have a look at the uh, cemetery the Chinese cemetery because apparently there was a lot of Chinese came here so I've come up to the cemetery which is where there's a lot of Chinese buried and there is also a Chinese memorial here to the ones who came a lot of them apparently went back to Guangdong province in China rich men but the old and the successful ones stayed here and lived their life out here but this and this part of Tasmania very pretty country would have been a hellhole in winter in the days from what I've read it was just boggy and 
yucky to try and get around in, but uh, it certainly is pretty country. So this is the little township of Pioneer. I would say that there was a pub at one stage, just by the look of it. But it's just a sleepy little town now, no shops left, no pub. Would have been in its heyday quite a big town when the mine was here. And the mine, well not the mine, the uh, Pioneer Lake where the tin mine was is up that road up there, which is where I'm heading now. Well, I'm back from my uh, adventures this morning, which didn't achieve much, but uh, anyway, taking the dog for a walk now. See if we can get around the other side of the lake from my campsite. Well, I made it to the end of the lake. It certainly was a big excavation. I reckon it's a good kilometre back to where my campsite is. And the campsite there is going to be in the middle of the picture there. So, where are we looking? There it is there, coming into picture now. That little white speck there, that's my, that's my caravan. Yeah. Pretty big. Well, it's a little bit chilly and it's a little bit misty out there but as yet it hasn't rained just this misty stuff so still getting some value out of that don't know how long for got the pot belly going and uh, get some dinner going very soon I do believe I'm going to have rain over the course of the night but hey <laughs> I'm in the caravan I'll be fine so if uh, I don't talk to you again that's it for the day. It was a bit of a disappointing day. I didn't get to the Dorset um, dredge, but, you know, then the breaks. But we still had a nice walk up to the end of the lake. And uh, got a few chores down around the uh, campsite. So, anyway, uh, I'll see you in the morning. Oh, good morning it's a it's a wet one it's probably been been raining it's three o'clock when I went up got up and went to the toilet and rains after that and what have we got now half past nine already and it's uh, still raining but uh, it probably will clear today so I might just have a lazy morning round camp doing some editing cook myself some breakfast and uh, See what I can get done this afternoon. Well, the weather has not improved. Just when you think it's about to pass, go away, comes in again, so it could be a very lazy day today. Interesting to see. And I don't really have any good internet reception here to um, get the radar up because of the cloud cover, it just knocks it out, so we just have to take what we get. Well, I just got back from a drive up to the main road and then up the hill to try and get some phone reception so I could find out what's going on. 
and I come back the weather has actually got worse it is really yucky out here now so be lucky to get for a walk I think so I might uh, go inside and read a book and do some editing Well, I'm on the track now that takes me into the campsite on the road that I drove in. So I went around on the right side of the lake because according to maps, as you can see, there's a track going around the right hand side of the lake. I can guarantee you there's not. There's tracks going everywhere, but uh, all end up coming out to a dead end. So me and the dog bashed our way through the scrub and it's thick. And we finally got back to here. So, yeah, he, he got a walk, but uh, not what we expected. So, and there we are. I'm glad I got the dog out for a walk, but it really wasn't that picturesque. But anyway, that's the brakes. So, I thought I'd just do a quick run around. So, this is, as I've said, this is the Pioneer Lake campground. This is one of the only other sites the other one being up the road there's a few spots here that you could probably get in and then um, there's the boat ramp there for launching boats and i suppose you might camp over there if you want to but really when it comes down to it there is not a lot of campsites here there probably is a few around on the left hand side of the lake but you'd need a good four-wheel drive to get into them. And that there is the uh, second campground and there's a um, small, no, it's actually quite a large campsite in there, but that's the only other one that I can find in here. And that's the road down to the campsite where I am. Well, it's half past five now and the weather has turned a bit nasty I've got my fire going out there but I don't know how much I'm going to enjoy that one but luckily I've got this one going so I'm about to get my nice big fat steak going on the open grill here and uh, a few veggies on the side but yeah I think I'll be in the caravan quite early tonight because uh, I think it's going to be a nasty weather night, but uh... Well, as you can see, the fire's dropped down and it hasn't burnt out. It's just the wood here. It's just too wet. Yeah, well, it's only half past eight, but with the fire as it is, uh, I think I'll head to bed. I've got to drive down to Launceston tomorrow because I'm, I'm moving on and picking up my wife and we're heading up to Beauty Point, which is up the Tamar River. So, anyway... I get it uh, uh, early start in the morning, pack up camp and uh, head on down. So I'll see you in the morning. All packed up. Nothing but footprints. Still a bit of wood there for someone else to come along and use when they want to. Anyway, on to Beauty Point.
So this here is the Beauty Bay Caravan Park. So there's a lot of sites in the middle there. That's our caravan there. And over the other side there is all the permanents. Quite some setups in there. So all through the middle is powered sites. They are quite wet. These two here, that one and that one there, glamping tents. So that's a little walkway that comes down from the caravan park, which is up in that gap there. It comes down onto the steps, and then uh, the tide is out at the moment, so normally you wouldn't get off those steps if it was high tide. But that there is the Red Bill Conservation Area up the end, and this here is on the west arm of the Tamar River. So it's not actually the full Tamar River, but a um, little peninsula that goes out there. The actual Tamar River is out over that way, out through there, and over the other side of the bay, or over the other side of the river, there's where the big ships, there's a power station there, and the ships that come in to deliver the coal for the power station, I would say. And also there's a wood chipping mill over there. So they uh, chip wood and that goes exported out around the world. But it's not a bad spot, although that's not the greatest view over there, but not bad. It's a pretty quiet day today on the Saturday. Just going to do a small walk to the Supply River Flour Mills Ruins. Made it to the mill, but sadly the sign is rather RS, but that's the site of the actual mill, which was started in 1825 by Andrew Charlton. At its best, it could crush 40 tonnes of grain a day. Tasmania hit an economic depression in 1855 and the uh, machinery was then moved on and by 1872 it was no longer in business and by 1889 it was sold off. So here I am at the uh, Georgetown or Mount George mountain bike trails located in the township of uh, Georgetown which is down the bottom of the hill there which is at the head of the Tamar River. So let's get into these trails and see what we can find. So I'm back at the caravan park now and apart from my ride this morning on that hill over there at Georgetown which is on the other side of the Tamar River it's been a pretty yucky weather day so I've just sort of spent the day in the caravan doing bits and pieces and getting ready because tomorrow we've got to head back to Launceston and uh, then I'm back to Scamander. So anyway we've had a lovely couple of quiet days here at Beauty Point and um, I think it's a great way to finish the video with an outlook over the top of my shoulder. So if you like these videos, consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.